Hey everybody, Tom here from Briar Business Club. Welcome back to guitar lesson number 7. Today we're going to be working on the finger picking technique without the guitar pick. On the Spanish guitar that is. So let's tune in and get ready. Hey everyone, welcome back. And here is my Spanish guitar. Now, for this lesson I just wanted to mention also if you have an acoustic and you don't have this Spanish guitar, that's fine. You can use whatever guitar you have. Don't let that stop you from doing this lesson. You can use any guitar necessary that you have. So just getting into the lesson now. I'm just going to talk about the right hand because we're not going to be using a guitar pick. Because this is a bit more of an advanced lesson. It will help you progress in creativity. In the sense of using transition into different chords with this. You know that way so let's get into it so the thumb your ring your index finger your middle finger and your ring finger we're just going to be using those trick those four for just for now so the thumb for this one is going to pick the low e the a and the d and your index finger is just going to pick on its own the g string mm. the middle finger is going to pick the b string and the ring finger is going to pick the high E, just right here. So I'm just going to play that motion, because this is the first technique that I just wanted to practice. And remember, go as slowly as you can. The slower the better. I'll, I'll even give you an example again of how slow you should go, just to build up the speed force. So here we go. And then we make our way back up. Just like that, nice and easy. Take your time. Remember, always start off very slowly. The slower you start, the better, because you hear everything more crisp and perfectly. And then, naturally, in time, <clears throat> the more you practice this technique, it's just going to build up speed. That will naturally happen. It's a great thing. Now, let's make it a bit more interesting. I'm going to hold down two chords. The chords I'm going to hold down are A major and A minor. So simply, again, we did go over these chords previously in the last couple of lessons. So A major is on the second fret, and A minor you're using the fourth fret and the second fret together. Now, so I'm just going to start with A major. And then I'm going to transition to A minor, just for the left hand. Now for the right hand, let's get into that. Let's be a bit creative. We don't have to specifically go all the way down and then all the way back up. You can use it. You can use this technique to your advantage. You don't have to pick all of the six strings. Does that make sense? Let me explain. I'm going to just come up with something randomly. So I'm going to pick the G string. Oh no, sorry, the D string with the thumb. And then, after that, I'm going to go from the ring finger, middle finger, index, back to the thumb again. So the ring finger again, like we said, is going to pick the high E, which is on the bottom of the guitar. The middle finger is going to pick the B string. And the index is going to pick the G. And then we're going to start again with the D string for the thumb. Now, hold down the A major chord as we're doing this. So here's an example, again I will do it slowly, just to give you an idea of practicing slowly forced to build our speed. So here we go. Now pick that in a routine of four times. After that, transition to A minor. So lift off the baby finger, put down the index finger, on the B string the 4th fret and you get A minor. And then the same strings we're going to pick, we're going to do that 4 times in a row again for the A minor. There you go. Now let's put them together and see what we get. Starting off slowly 4th and I'll gradually build a speed. Here we go. Now 
Now let's play a bit faster. And this is the, I'm going to do this specifically for a reason. It's to show you as why you should learn this technique. Because when you do gradually build a speed with practice, this is the advantage. Because using a guitar pick would be a lot harder to, to build this kind of speed rather than using all your fingers. Why not use all your fingers? So let's do it. Just go down. So there you have it guys. Again, that's a very good advantage to have. And you don't have to use A major and A minor. You can use any other chord that we've recently talked about between guitar lesson 4, 5 and 6. But really, again, just want to say to take your time, go as slow as you can, and then gradually this, the, the speed is just going to, it's going to literally just come naturally like a flow. That's it everybody for guitar lesson number 7. I really hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Please like, comment, subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you get notified when the guitar lesson gets uploaded on our Briar YouTube page. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget guys, keep the 100% music. See you again and good luck.